Not too surprising to see Lissette up a game here. As you're going to see a master of ways be placed on the stack, along with the Manic Influence and a couple of copies of Hollowed Found out there. So it's got the white splash here for a few copies of Detention Sphere, but we see the Check of Devotion, one for the Familiar, one for the Master, one for the Raptor, along with three for the Nightfield Spectre. So a bunch of horses are going to come into play here. The question is, does Les Set have the answer to that? Could really, of course, use Supreme Verdict in this spot. Wouldn't be so bad as there are six elemental tokens. That will be two ones. Archangel of Thune typically reigning supreme against Mono Blue. It's actually part of the reason people you know, brought that card in the sideboards because it's so good against them. The, the risk is that the Mono Blue Devotion player could have brought in Domestication anticipating this plan. Yep. But if your Archangel goes unchecked, it's usually going to be good enough to win the game. Lissette does draw his card for the turn. Caught a glimpse of his hand. Does have a Sphinx Revelation and the land to play there. However, he is under some serious duress right now, and he needs to get that Master of the Ways off the table. As if he's able to do that, he's probably good to go, but we don't know if he has an answer right now. I would imagine that this is not a man thinking uh, and has Supreme Verdict in hand. I would have to guess. I'd like to imagine he would cast that if he had it. We'll see what he does have in the grip right now, though, as he's going to play a Temple of Deceit. Take a look at the top card. Going to put the Jace maybe to the bottom. He may not have enough time for something like that. I think he also has another copy of Archangel in his hand, which is obviously quite powerful, and you do see it there. However, he may not have enough time to actually cast that. It's a real rough spot here for Lissette. It looks like he is just going to deploy another Archangel. Can he live through this as he just passed the turn? He can't afford, he can't even afford to attack in this spot because yeah. Travis has so much power in play. Travis didn't do the math here, see how much damage. Okay, if I attack with everything, what happens? Joe is effectively at 16 right now. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can Travis deal more than 16? Yeah, the issue here is that Travis can't attack with Master of Ways because if that dies in combat on a non-lethal attack, everything falls apart. Oh, well, he's coming in with everybody. So the set's going to do some blocking here. I mean, this better be for lethal. Yeah, if this doesn't I mean, if this doesn't come through, it's almost like Travis loses immediately. You put one Archangel on a Master, you put another one on something else. That Bill Spectre, and that's 6 is 12, 13. That's 15, right? Yeah. 15 is not 16, so Travis actually has to have something because, again, Joe's effectively at 16 because the Archangels each have three power and they're, and they're going to have lifelinks. So you see Lissette's going to have his blockers here. And so all this damage is going to come across, but it's not going to be lethal damage. And you see, I think Joe knew that. This damage gets dealt. You're going to have triggers here from the Archangels. They're both going to trigger twice. So each one should get two counters. And if you didn't kill him the first time, you're probably not going to kill him the second time. I agree with you, my friend. There goes Master. There goes all of its friends. Oh, no. This, I think, is just a land in Anderson's hand. And now, all of a sudden, in a game that we cut into that was very troublesome here for Lissette, it looks quite good now. This is easy. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's got lethal in two turns. Yeah. And he gets to gain a bunch of life along the way, so... And there you do see Lissette is sitting at that precarious one life, but it doesn't matter now. Lissette considering his options here, knowing that, hey, I get to gain 10 life this turn. I get to go to 11? Come on, Red for one. Give us another pump spell, there we Joe. Go. We I saw like it before. It. I like it. Red for one's the ultimate pump spell. Yeah. Joe going to play a temple. Going to scry. That card's going to the bottom immediately. We might see exactly what you asked for, which is some sort of rev. And it's just going to be a Jace instead. Oh, boo. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Tough crowd here in the booth. Yeah, no kidding. Jace going to take up. Here come the Archangels. Attack for 10. Travis is going to take 10. He's going to go down to 5. Lissette's going to gain 10. He's going to go up to 11. And there will be some triggers placed on the stack here as well. Angels are going to grow a little bit bigger. You're going to see a, two counters added. It, it, each one triggers both. Lissette can comfortably pass the turn back, knowing there's no way I can die. You see an island and a mutual That's going to do it. Joe Lissette is going to win this match over Travis Anderson. Two games to zero. Blue-white control. Five and oh. And typically, a strong matchup for blue-white control and possibly another factor in the amount of mono-blue devotion that we've seen recently, which has been a lot less than in previous months. It's matchup against Supreme Verdict decks. Just not very good, and those decks are prevalent.